unlike monopoly there are no barriers to entry in a monopolistic competition market structure and therefore when a firm makes super normal profit new firms will enter and as new firms enter the industry each firm will have a lower market share than before and result in profit to be competed away as firms make normal profit in the long run so one thing that we can see common with perfect competition when it comes to monopolistic competition is that the entry of new firms will result in normal profit to happen however with the entry of new firms the demand curve for each firm will shift downward because uh, now more firms will enter the market and the demand will fall to the point where average revenue will be equal to average cost in other words firms will make normal profit let's see this in terms of a diagram as we can see from the diagram that uh, monopolistic competition firm will make uh, Q1 at price P1 where MC equals to MR. Now, we saw that in the short run there was a possibility of uh, super normal profit because the demand was high. Now, with the entry of new firms, now we will have uh, the demand curve going down because each firm will have a lower market share and because of this lower market share, we will have normal profit and as a result, if we draw our ATC, our ATC will be like this, resulting in normal profit for each firm in the market. Now, the the fall of demand and the fact that the profits will be competed away to zero means that uh, no new firms will enter any further once every firm in the market is going to make normal profit. So this is where it is very similar to perfect competition. When we look at perfect competition, the demand curve is horizontal. When we look at this situation, however, the demand curve is downward sloping. So it is good to compare this market structure with perfect competition in order to see how monopolistic competition do when it comes to efficiency and other aspects as compared to perfect competition. If we draw a perfect competition diagram over this diagram just to see how the things look like, we can figure out that a demand curve which is completely horizontal is the perfectly competitive demand curve. So when we draw that kind of a demand curve, we can say the perfect competition will produce at a point which is a where ATC is at its lowest and therefore the quantity produced will be for example Q2 and the price will be P2. So monopolistic competition will produce at point X where MC equals to MR while perfect competition will produce at point Y where price is equal to MC and at that is the point where ATC is, is at its lowest. So both the points are such that the profitability will be zero but the firms under perfect competition we will see are producing more output at a lower price. Uh, the first aspect to look at is the fact that the perfectly competitive firms are producing at full capacity. They are producing more than the firms under monopolistic competition, which means that we can say that monopolistic competition, uh, because the demand curve is downward sloping, can result in firms to produce below its capacity. This excess capacity can be shown through this distance Q1 minus Q2. So the distance Q1 minus Q2 is showing us the excess capacity which is because monopolistic competition doesn't produce at full capacity. Another aspect to consider here is that the excess capacity is causing both productive and allocative inefficiency in monopolistic competition. So unlike monopolistic competition where in the long run the firms are profit maximizer, productively efficient and allocatively efficient, firms in the long run in monopolistic competition, although are profit maximizer, are neither productively nor allocatively efficient. So let's look at first the allocative efficiency part. Well, the, the first aspect to look at is that for allocative efficiency, price must be equal to marginal cost. Now, when you look at the point where they are producing, they're producing at point X, which is where your quantity is Q1, but price is at point, for example, a Z, and the uh, MC is below here at point X. So clearly price is greater than marginal cost and price is not equal to marginal cost resulting in allocative inefficiency uh, and we can see that is why the price is higher and the quantity is lower 
and therefore there will be dead weight losses because of the fact the monopoly is under monopolistic competition is under producing in this case similarly this idea of excess capacity means that there will be productive inefficiency because of the fact that the firm has spare capacity now the inefficiency uh, is mainly due to the downward slope in demand curve which is the result of what we call consumers desire for variety so although allocative efficiency does not uh, occur it is hard to argue that consumers are worse off with monopolistic competition than with perfect competition since the difference is entirely due to the consumer desire to have differentiated product which means there is a downward sloping demand curve so rather than having a perfectly competitive situation where consumers pay lower prices but are only able to purchase a homogenous product monopolistic competition gives us a uh, variety gives us more choice and this is why they prepare to pay slightly higher prices for the product and this may result in both productive and allocative inefficiency but one could argue that there might be some uh, sort of dynamic efficiency because of variety of products Hey there if you like what you saw right now head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards and academic support. All of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your A levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.